right guys, are you ready for this? Because I am. I know I'm a day late to the party, but I couldn't record yesterday, but here we go. I wanted to go through this trailer, analyze some stuff, tell you guys what I'm excited about. Here we go. Oh, I like the setting. I like what's going on here. I like the demographic they're going after. I'll talk about that later. But he's doing what I wish I was doing right now, playing Breath of the Wild on the NS. By the way, calling it the NS. Nintendo Switch, not the NX, the Nintendo Z Z uh, Xenophile, but the NS. Anyway, um, this is the first look kind of of the controller. We get to see it better later, but this looks so good! Oh, I'm gonna rewind that, because Breath of the Wild looks so good on this console. Look at that. The, the colors, the contrast, you can see further in the distance, whatever that's called. Um, the, the things pop out better. It really aids the art style of this game. I feel like it was made for the NX. Um, which I, I bought a Wii U like half, well not half, but at least like 30% to get this game. I'll probably end up getting it on the NS and we'll see if I get it on the Wii U or what, but I, I want to play this on the NS now. It looks so good. Oh, anyway, so dog wants to go pee or go, you know, outside. So good thing we have a Nintendo Switch. Which, by the way, I think this green light next to the TV icon indicates it is hooked into the dock and you're good to go. Also, USB ports ready. I don't know. We'll, we'll see what this does. They did pass a patent for the supplemental computing device, so we'll see if this is indeed that or just a docking station. Based on looking at just the screen, um, playing and on the TV playing, this definitely does uh, increase the system's graphical capabilities. So, anyway, so that looks good. I love that you can slide these off. Um, the controller looks great, even though it looks a little boxy, but dang! You can play Breath of the Wild on the go? Ha! Oh, and hey, guess what? We're going to show off some Zelda footage that you haven't seen before on the NS with new overworld bosses. Oh, they're just, I'm getting more and more pumped for this game and also more and more pumped now for the NS. I was getting frustrated and tired of the rumors and tired of the crap before, but now I'm just so happy and Nintendo, just as long as it's in the next month or two, yeah, let us know more about this system, but this is going to hold me over for a bit. Um, anyway, that looks so good. It looks pretty good. Like, this is, this isn't even like, um, th this is an off-screen look of Breath of the Wild on the go. Like, it, and it still looks good. I mean, it's not perfect, but like, it still looks good. Um, oh, and this definitely does appeal to travelers. You go into the airport, you go in on the train, you go in on a long road trip with your friends or family. You can take the NS with you. You can, and there will probably be like a portable charger that you can take to plug into your car and stuff like that. I'm hoping the battery lasts a good amount of time, but as long as, for me, as long as it lasts longer than three or four hours, it's not an inconvenience for me personally, but I know it would be for a lot of people. So let's hope they have a decent battery life. Um, oh, and cartridges. They're using cartridges. No slow load times, no downloading it forever. It looks uh, like cartridges are coming, making a comeback with Nintendo, and I love it. Got the uh, auxiliary port here, and also some uh, ventilation holes for cooling. Um, anyway, yeah, no, I, I can't wait to encounter a very attractive girl also playing the NS, and we can hit it up. Anyway, so kickstand. That looks cool, and I don't know what this little divot is for, or does, or probably doesn't do anything, or maybe it holds something, I don't know. But uh, I love that you can set it down on the table like that, take the controllers off, and play Skyrim if you want. I'm probably gonna play Zelda, or like Mario, or Mario Kart, or Tomb Raider, I hope, and like other stuff that I'm hoping comes to this system. But I love, it's showing off, if you travel, this system is for you. 
we made it for you. If you don't travel, we also made it for you. Here's an awesome controller that feels great, looks great. Oh, it looks so good. The best controller Nintendo's come out with so far. And it, it, it looks great. So hey, if you're a home console gamer and you don't want to take it anywhere and you, and you don't, you know, have friends, then get some friends. But if you don't want to, then hey, you can still play it at home. That's totally fine. Um, that looks great, by the way. Um, yeah, definitely appeals to the traveler, which is why it appeals to me. I take the train to school. I could play this. I could play it with my brother because it's co-op. Because guess what? Look, you can take the controllers off, put them on their sides, have the analog stick, not the stupid D-pad to control stuff with, and you can play with your friend, your brother, your sister, your ex uncle twice removed. I don't know, but hey, is this Mario Kart 9? Double items, King Boo is a drivable character, different textures I'm pretty sure I'd have to kind of look and compare. Is this Mario Kart 9? Or are they just doing like a remaster, definitive edition of Mario Kart 8? Either way, I'm excited to play that um, with my brother on the train, specifically. That's like a specific thing I thought about, like I will use it for that on the way to school. Um, anyway, hey, Nintendo. Um, I love the click. That's probably going to be really satisfying to do that. Um, hey, you playing basketball? You getting sweaty? You getting tired? That's okay. In the meantime, you rest, you play basketball on the go with your two friend systems, and it's all good. You get a little rest, now you can go play basketball again. Love it. Not huge into sport games, but just the fact that they're coming to the NS is great for Nintendo for people who are fans of Nintendo but want those games have been and have been driven away by lack of third-party support. Anyway, so here we see kind of the demographic that they're shooting for. Look how like nice and classy this apartment looks with with the pots and and the shrubs and candles and amiibos. <laughs> they kind of look a little out of place but not too much, but this this doesn't look out of place at all. It looks sleek, it's tiny, it's not intrusive. Like a Xbox One or PS4 or no no PS3 the original man that thing was huge but it looks great like and guess how good this new Mario looks like oh I'm excited for that it's like Mario 64 plus sunshine plus a little bit of 3D world like yeah um, again just showing it off that you can go to friends houses or wherever they're hanging out you can play this um, and, oh, it looks like if she didn't move the cartridge out, so are they playing that new Mario game as a co-op? If so, I'm excited. Um, anyway, yeah, let's see. Click. Oh, here's, yeah, here's the last thing they show. They show Splatoon, like, professional Splatooners. I'm excited for that. I like Splatoon a lot. I play it. I'm not, like, super into it, but I really like it. enjoy it. Um, so this is good. I They're appealing to, like, a lot of different people you can play it how you want, when you want, and where you want, and with whomever you want. Like, it's just appealing to everyone. Oh, and one thing that appeals to me so much is if I have a friend uh, who has the same system, I can take my cartridge with all the save data and everything on it and start off where I left off at my house if I just take the cartridge to his house. Or guess what? I could even take the system to his house put it in the docking station, and have it. It, oh, again, they're going for, like, this is useful for everybody. And I, see, I can see a lot of people who travel but still want a game on a good quality system but still have that home console experience. That appeals to them. People who just want a home console, it still looks great. It's fantastic. And, hey, if you got to, like, go to the bathroom, you take that with you. I don't know. That's something I thought of. Um, it, like, it just appeals to so many facets of life. And it appeals to me. Like, I can think of specific situations. So I'm really glad they're going this way uh, and in this direction. I wasn't really sure when Eurogamer was, was uh, coming out with their um, rumors, which were exactly right, pretty much. Um, but like I wasn't really sure if that would be a good idea, but seeing Nintendo tell us like exactly why this would be a good idea, like it, it tells me why I want to buy the system. Right now, 
I want to buy the system launch thing. Like this looks good. I, I still need to figure out um, things like s specific specs. Is the docking station a supplemental computing device? Um, what games are coming in the launch window? Breath of the Wild. That's enough for me, honestly. Like ah, so good. Anyway, like I need to know a few more things, but. Right now, I'm sold. I'm really happy with the direction they're going because it applies to me. And that's what they're going for. Um, anyway, let me know what you think. Are you excited for this? Are you kind of, uh, I have to find out more, but maybe? Or do you hate it? Let me know in the comment section, and I'll probably go over a few more details as we go along, but I was glad I could do just the whole trailer analyzing it. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this, and we'll see you next time. Oh!